All right, it's a quick little uh, tutorial, a uh, little video action. I've seen mostly pictures and uh, seen the Aussie Adventure threads, but I, I kind of want to make a video uh, with a 4x4 four four forum um, to kind of to show it on uh, on a Joe's router. Uh, more or less, basically, what this does is uh, you got a, something as crude as an aluminum plate uh, with a wire screwed into it um, that runs back to uh, basically a free input on your breakout board. Then you have a, um, a ground uh, with an alligator clip, which runs out to the breakout board on the same input side, um, but runs to the ground to complete a circuit. Uh, basically, what you do is you, you clip it to your, uh, your router bit to complete a circuit. Some people have gotten away with just um, uh, using just the touch plate, uh, but for some reason, the way my router is set up, and it's kind of scary, it's not grounded properly, I, I'm not sure. Um, that's something I have to check on. But for now, this works for me. You have to complete a full circuit. But some people get away with not having to do this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hop over to Mach 3, and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, you set it up in the ports and pins uh, first. Um, I used uh, pin 15 because uh, that was my free. I had a whole bunch of free inputs, and that's what I used. That's just to show you a little bit. I'm running Mach uh, Blue, which is Ernie's uh, modification, which I appreciate. Uh, he's got his little probe thing. It's going crazy because I don't have it on right now, uh, my controller on. So let me turn on my controller. And now, first thing I do uh, before I do anything, just to make sure it doesn't go crash into the, to the plate, is um, I touch it uh, to complete the circuit, just to test it enough to uh, give me an assurance that it's not going to crash into it and not stop, which would be horrible. Um, you'll see that green light is coming on to, just to show you that it's working. And now, let me show you my... i got a Shuttle Pro, and I actually just set up a macro so I can um, do the Z0 uh, with one touch of the button. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you real quick. And just make sure you get uh, pretty close to where you want to be, because this will only travel two inches, uh, which is what I believe it's really uh, originally set up to uh, in the script. And if you go any farther than that, it'll just run out. Uh, so just get pretty close, and then you can uh, touch it down. Uh, and then it completes uh, the circuit, sets it up, um, uh, automatically subtracts whatever the thickness you set that up in Mach 3, and then you're ready to go. It's pretty simple. Um, it's pretty... Uh, I don't know, to me, uh, before this was pretty kind of like advanced, you know, uh, you know, people are selling these blocks and uh, uh, K2 is selling them for really expensive and it's nice to be able to, to do something uh, pretty cheap and, and DIY nonetheless. Um, and the only other thing is, I know some of you using the Shuttle Pro, is you got to set up a macro because it requires, you know, a number um, to set it up like an alter alternative button uh, and I'll post on how to do that in form, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little go-ahead on how this works and I'll show you one last time. Okay, take two. That was not how to do it, and I didn't have the alligator clip on, and I almost crashed the tool into the aluminum. Way to go. So here we're going to show you one last time. All right, take care, man. Uh, thanks to Ernie, uh, Griault, and uh, Jeff on uh, CNC Zone for helping me out. I appreciate it. Take care, guys.